This is the inline check valve. And today we're gonna to take it apart and remove all the internals that actually allow it to function. So I'm gonna give it over to Dave. And when doing so, Dave's gonna put it in the vise. There is an arrow on there, and he's gonna make sure that the arrow, which is the direction of flow, is facing upwards and not in the vise. So he takes that, we're gonna place it in the vise. Now we're going to open it up. So using a 7 8 wrench, Dave cracks that open. Maybe quite difficult to open it up. And he's just gonna twist it. And I'm gonna... And so now all of the internal components are being taken out. So there's a spring and then the actual valve mechanism. And then Dave's gonna take a needle in those pliers, reach in and pull out a fighter, pull out the O-ring. So O-ring, a spring, and then the actual uh, poppet valve mechanism. So now we've got our inline check valve apart. You're gonna clean it with the required solvent that you use for cleaning. And you're also gonna to wanna to inspect the components such as the uh, actual poppet and the O-ring for any damage. The O-ring especially, you're gonna to wanna to look for any cuts or nicks and ensure that it is smooth all the way around. Once you've inspected everything and it looks clean, then you can start putting it back together. So Dave's gonna put it back together for us. First, he's inserting the spring then the poppet. Then what he's gonna do is he's going to use, put the O-ring on top of the poppet just to align it. So he's going to just gently then hand tighten that on. All the way down. And once he's got it tight, he's gonna open it back up. And you'll notice our O-ring has now disappeared off the top of the poppet because it's centered inside of the body. So once we've got it centered, put it back together. Place it into the vise. Again, we're setting it up so that the check valve is pointing upwards. And we're going to take the wrench and we're going to have it wrench tight. So you're going to get it as tight as you can utilizing the wrench. After it's all assembled, what we like to do here uh, is we like to take an air hose and just check and ensure that the poppet is functional. So Dave will put the, pop, put the air hose up to the end of it and he'll listen for that noise to ensure that air is getting passed. And now he's noticing when he puts it in reverse, there is no air getting passed.